What is New Testament fasting? And we saw that fasting spans across from Genesis to Revelation. All right, so fasting is not a new thing. It's not a new reality. It's actually been a practice of both the Old Testament and it is also a practice in the New Testament. However, why and how the practice is done changes. In the Old Testament, they fasted to seek God's face. They fasted to seek God's presence. They fasted to seek God's acceptance. They fasted as a means of punishing themselves to show God that they are humble, to show God that they are serious. In the New Testament, we do not fast to seek God's face. We have God's face in Christ. When you receive Christ, you receive the face of God himself. In fact, not just the face, you receive the totality of God. Christ in you, the hope of glory. In the New Testament, we do not fast so that we can be righteous. We are righteous by faith in Christ. In the New Testament, we do not fast so that we can be holy. We are holy because we are in Christ. In Christ, there is no unholiness. If any man in Christ is a new creature, the born again man is a new creature. He is created in righteousness and true holiness. So we are not fasting for acceptance. We are accepted in the beloved in Christ Jesus. We are accepted. We are washed. We are sanctified. We are perfected. We are accepted. Take note of the tenses. So in the New Testament, we do not fast for the, the same reasons that they fasted for in the Old Testament. However, in the New Testament, when we fast, we fast for dedication and devotion. So we can spend time in prayer and spend time in fasting to get to know God more, know his word more. And so that we can have a quality time of prayer without interruptions.